Hey, it's rainy. Oh God. Whoa. Ooh. Eee. All right. Five minute talk. Part two. Round two. We're doing this on the way to get dinner, and it is steamy out here. Your eye is steamy. Sorry. You're, you're, uh, you're in the car. We're gonna start the timer once I actually start. You know, first we gotta get on the road. So we're gonna get on the road first. Back it up. Five minutes starts now. Wait, five minutes starts. <laughs> I gotta find the start button. <laughs> now, I don't really know what we're gonna talk about today. Uh, but you know, like usual, we'll figure it out. So, today, Today I actually felt um, sympathy for a bully. It's kind of weird. I actually felt sorry for someone who is um, um, bullying on me today. And that was a pretty cool sensation. It was a really cool sensation to be in the middle of someone making fun of me. And me not even feeling like angry about it. I actually felt sorry for him. I was like, oh my god. When this person's done being like really negative and bullish, like when they're done talking, they're gonna feel really bad later. And like, if they already felt bad before they started messing with me, oh my god, it's gonna feel even worse after. Yikes. Sucks. Because I realized the things that this person was saying just weren't true, it's just not. So I didn't really feel like that upset by it because I'm like, yeah, but you're so wrong. Like, so it really doesn't matter to me that you're saying these things. So I'm like, but you're wrong. But it didn't even matter to me that they were wrong. It just was like, I feel bad for you. It sucks. But anywho, um, so, it was, it was cool to be in a place where, um, where I can detect, I can detect, like, going from being upset by hurtful words to not even being affected by it, to feeling what the other person, what's really going on, and, like, you just, you feel bad for the person. And I think probably the next step from feeling bad for the person is feeling kindness and love for the person. Like the actual hurting person. Everybody who makes fun of anyone else is hurting. Period. And sometimes people make jokes that make fun of someone else, but they don't do it to hurt the person. And as long as they know the other person isn't hurt, then they're really just a more rough edge comedian. Some comedians make fun of people, and you'll notice the comedians- Hey guys, so I'm editing the five minute video right now, and I realize, I just, look, the, the ADHD is real. It's not really ADHD, it's more like ADD, because I don't have a hyper issue, but my attention span's like, <laughs> except for the times when it's not, then it's <gasps> Anywho, I just noticed like, I never actually finished making the point, the point is hurt people hurt people. Um, if somebody's making fun of you, it's because they're hurt and they feel made fun of first. So I'm clipping the rest of that section out because it's I completely lose track and like start talking about like comedians and like how like some of them make fun of people for fun and some of those cases are okay because they don't mean to hurt people and people aren't hurt by them. But like the whole reason I went into that thought in the first place was to explain most of the time if you got somebody making fun of somebody else it's because they're hurt on some level. 
they're hurt. They feel like they've got to make fun of somebody else because they feel small already. They feel like they got to make fun of somebody else because if they don't, then they won't be important anymore. People make fun of other people because they are hurt. Period. So I'm going to squeeze this in here and spare y'all like the four minutes I completely go off track because I never finished that thought and that part is very important. So yeah. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. However, anywho. Um, dog, what was I gonna say? Oh, my timer went off. That was a quick five minutes. And Gavin's calling me in the middle of this. I wanted to finish that thought. Hang on. Gavin. Hey, fella. Hey. I have. I'm on the way to get Chinese food right now. She's for it. Me. I interrupted you three times this week. <laughs> it's fine. It's good. <laughs> Do you like sushi? Do I like sushi? Um, certain kinds, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, certain kinds. Because me and you would have some problems if you didn't like sushi. <laughs> oh, would we? <laughs> yes. We're allowed. We're allowed to like different things, my friend. That's. <laughs> you. No, we're allowed to like everything different except. <laughs> then we have a oh, except sushi. Oh man. No, but what and one thing. Soup. You like soup? Um. Yeah. Certain types. Yeah. yeah. I don't know anybody who doesn't like soup. You can stay being my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, soup and sushi is one of my favorite foods in the entire world. Yeah. Because oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Katie would have some problems. So, which one are you going to learn how to make? Uh, first, soup because it's a lot easier. And then, once I actually get good at cooking, I'll probably make some sushi because it's a lot more complicated. It is. It does. Yep. Cool, man. All right. All right, well, we made it through our five minutes and I am pulling up to the Chinese restaurant. Da -da -da! So, you guys have an awesome afternoon. Uh, five minutes is going by pretty fast nowadays. So, we're gonna keep them five though. It's pretty easy, it's, a, it's an easy starting place. And, um, I hope you've had a wonderful Monday, all of you, my friends. And I think um, it's a rainy day, but there is a bright sun behind it. Okay. All them storm clouds, and look at that sun. Pretty. All right, anywho, I would insert something cool to say here, but I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to say see you later. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank <laughs> you.